Rivera was able to uh, follow up with a $69 replacement for if you have mm-hmm. lost an AirPod. And yeah. So if you lose if you lose any part of the AirPod system, so one of the AirPod earpieces or the battery charging case, each one of those pieces it will be $69 to replace. Yep. So, yeah, that's basically only a uh, what? So $138 out of 159. If you lose both of them, then, you know. <laughs> right. You just might as well buy a new pair of AirPods. <laughs> I've got this battery charger, but I lost both the AirPods. So I mean, you can save now. $21 by just by going through the replacement process, but hey. Uh, it's it's really up to you whether or not you well, and and especially when you when you one. think about the fact that if you buy the AirPods and you just take the battery case and each individual AirPods, you take the price and divide by three, it's like fifteen dollars cheaper than the replacement cost per each. So I mean, like Apple has built in a profit margin on individual AirPod components that they're more expensive than uh, per component than when you buy them outright. And that just doesn't seem like it's very helpful. (laughs) It just seems like it's kind of taking advantage of a situation they created by removing the headphone jack from their phones. And they're doubly profiting on top of what is going to be, I think a very common situation for people who might lose one of these things or lose one of these components. It seems like Apple, doesn't it? I, well, I I don't I I hate playing I, the oh they just <laughs> they're just trying to make profits you know all companies exist to provide value for their shareholders but this one just the, when they when they announced the price of sixty nine dollars for a replacement piece that to me just felt exploitive because you've got a consumer who's dealing with a problem the problem is they lost a piece 